mercy of God, mercy of Christ, that the Lord, that Jesus will not refuse the cry of this child. Jesus will not refuse the cry of this child. I felt full confidence that Jesus will show mercy to this triple murderer, Prince Ini. So I cried and cried with that confidence, Oh Lord! And she also asked, This is my first child in heaven. This is my first child in heaven. So you must give me a sign that you saved him, that you pardoned him. Now next day, Pansini is going to be executed. So in the ground, an open ground in front of the prison, there are about 30,000 people gathered there and they were all abusing him, shouting him. No one is praying for him. But this girl of 14 and a half years old, she in her home, holding on the crucifix and crying, Lord, have mercy on Prince Sidi. Have mercy on Prince Sidi. Oh Lord, have mercy on Prince Sidi. And when Prancini on his chains brought to the guillotine to be killed, when the police forced him to put his head inside the guillotine, he pulled back. They forced him. He said, wait, wait, please give me a moment. He turned to the right side, there was that priest standing there with the crucifix. With the crucifix, the priest was standing there and the priest came running. That Prince Iris said, bring that crucifix, bring that crucifix. In crying, Prince Iris, the priest came to Pranzini and gave the crucifix and Pranzini looking at the, looking at Jesus on the crucifix cried and asked pardon and forgiveness and kissed the crucifix three times and came back to the priest and the priest gave him absolution and blessing and then he died this news was reported in the newspaper so after a couple of days newspaper came those days there were no photograph photography they used to the newspaper reporters will have some artist with the the artist used to draw picture of that the, with the picture Francini kissing Jesus this newspaper came Francini repented and kissed Jesus before his death <laughs> seeing this Therese was so much filled with the love she was crying thanksgiving and thanking God Oh Lord, I thank you, thank you that you served my Prince Siri. And she said, this is my call. This will be my call. I will continue to pray and pray and pray and gain many souls for heaven. So that is the time when she realized her vocation, her vocation of evangelization their vocation of evangelization. She was only 11 years, uh, 14 years old. My dear friends, this is the patron saint evangelization, Teresa's beginning of the life. And today, she is the 
she is known to everywhere all over the world every house but she never traveled anywhere so evangelization is like a magnetic magnetic attraction of love of god the mercy of god the confidence of god that jesus has come to take away our sins and help us to take us to heaven even if your sins are crimson red i shall make it as white as snow that is the words of isaiah chapter 15 sorry chapter 1 15 to 18 so in our our heart the love of god should be should be flowing and also we will be able to show love for all of this all of this all of this all of this means a greatest sinner has greatest right to receive mercy in on those days in paris or france there was so much atheism and so many other heresies heresies so that time there was another saint in france her name was uh margaret maria elcock margaret maria elcock got a vision of sacred heart of jesus that is how, that is why the devotion of sacred heart came that is also god's sacred heart is open to welcome all sinners but this did not spread so wide but there is there is spirituality become more popular but then another saint that was saint faustina from poland god spoke to her about the same mercy now that also did not come to popularity till such time pop john paul ii understood as carol waitila he was the archbishop of krako then his attention was drawn to the devotion of uh, mercy and the biography of Faustina and it so happened the Faustina's diary which was written originally in Poland Polish language and the authorities have copied this diary to give to Rome so maybe it was translated to Italian and given to Rome but when rome has studied this they could they could find some error some error this error happened because of the uh, mistake in translation and mistake in copy so the rome did not approve the whole program it was at that time carol whiteva become archbishop of krakow and he examined this original diary original handwritten diary and found there is a mistake in copying and he reported this to rome and he opened the case of sister saint faustina and opened the divine mercy and no sooner when he became pope hallelujah he is the one who brought this merciful love which began through many saints saint margaret maria alcock saint therese of lisieux and another saints like uh, um 
another saint alphonse ligori so many saints the lord revealed but eventually it was through saint john paul this mercy came such overflowing way so john paul ii when he became pope his first encyclical was redeemer hominis the redeemer of the humanity and the second encyclical was god misericordia deus misericordia god is mercy everybody raise your hand and praise lord hallelujah hallelujah wave your hand hallelujah hallelujah i praise you jesus i love you jesus i praise you jesus i love you jesus so in evangelization jesus is own way we have to follow jesus is the good news that is what pope paul the 6th in a, in an apostolic letter on evangelization the name of that letter is evangeli nunciandi that is one classic teaching practical way what is evangelization since you are seminarians and future priest you must read this it is surely there in your library evangeli nunciandi in which paragraph 7 and 8 pope paul the 6 says jesus christ is the good news of god he is the good news why he is the good news he become man to make man become god he become man to take everybody's sinfulness in him so from the incarnation itself whole humanity is in the body of christ this we will uh, learn more about it later let us simply think this way that jesus in his public life watch some of the public ministry of jesus he never criticized anybody four people carried a paralytic in mark chapter 2 mark chapter 2 5 mark chapter 2 do you remember how many of you remember can you imagine what did jesus say to the paralytic do somebody remember what did jesus say to the paralytic when four people carried a paralytic to jesus they cut open the roof and lowered him down what did he say eh your sins are forgiven is that anything else he said hmm anybody knows what else he said that is not the right answer before he said that he said something more eh huh? pardon very good give a clap to her the first thing jesus said son my child your sins are forgiven before he speaking about the sin he consider the sinner as his own son his own child loving child that is his compassion mark chapter 25 please read mark chapter 25 when jesus saw their faith the four people 
the four people who came lifting up a paralytic brought him and there was no place to get in they were they could have okay what can i do we go home no they said no we must somehow reach him to jesus they took him thrown him out up and on top of the roof tak 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 cut up on the roof <laughs> somebody's roof for francis used to say they were not even afraid of police or any litigation they were ready to take the risk they were they took a risk on cutting open somebody's roof to save a man that is evangelization and they lowered him and jesus looked at them when jesus looked on top he saw glazing eyes of four people like glittering bulbs filled with the hope and faith he saw what did he saw the faith of that people and he said to the paralytic my son your sins are forgiven so this is the attitude of jesus again for francis often used to say about another event in the gospel that is matthew matthew himself was a tax collector jesus all the pharisees used to blame him he said tax collector nakadar babi no one should go into his house that was the situation but jesus went to him and pope francis says there is a book pope francis has written or the name of that book is god's name is mercy god's name is mercy you must read that book god's name is mercy in that he has cited this incident that jesus came into the house of matthew he came inside the house of matthew he sat with him eat with him all others criticized jesus others pharisees told his disciples why your master is going and eating with a sinner kya tumhare guru nakedar aur paapiyon ke sath bhojan karte ho hearing this jesus came out and said and said those who are well do not need physician but the sick do go and learn the meaning of these words i desire mercy not sacrifice i did not come to call righteous but sinners i did not come to call righteous but sinners 